morning class. Uh, so today, you know, we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. And as you all know, the Pythagorean theorem was discovered by Griff. But you do know that it was discovered by many people at the same time. And he related it to triangles. And it tells how the sides are related of those right triangles. And if we look at a right triangle, we're looking at the right angle, and we're looking at the sides of the triangle, and if we call these the legs and the hypotenuse. I don't get it. Ah, why is this so freaking hard? God, she can't teach anything. If my life depended on it, I would never be able to solve this garbage. A, B, C? What does this stuff mean? Why would I ever care about finding the sine links of a right triangle? This is absolutely pointless. When will I use this in real life? I wish I could actually apply this stuff to something. Smiley face, kisses, send. Ah, oh, 75 degrees and sunny outside. Time to ball it up. Okay, good morning everybody. Now, let's get in our groups and talk about what you saw last night. Let's talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. So get up, get with your group, and get discussing. Woo -hoo! Oh, Woo! Oh, did you guys see the video last night? Yeah, something to do with Pythagorean theorem, right? Yeah, how did it go again? Is a squared plus b squared equals c squared? And that has to do with uh, right triangles, right? Yeah. yeah. So and just a, b, and c. Yep, and try and solve for the missing side. Oh, where c is the hypotenuse, okay. And That's a and b are the legs. You have, to, you have to add them. You have to square them, add them together, and then take the root to get C. Oh, that's so convenient, just looking for the missing side. Yeah. yeah. Cool.